everyone welcome back to my channel today i have another haul video for you guys is an arts and craft supply haul video so my daughter just had a project from school where she had to create a house out of a shoebox or something like that we worked on it together and we were able to finish it with whatever materials i had at home but doing that project i realized that i think I'm going to start stocking up on some other arts and craft supplies because we could probably have done a lot better on that project, although it did turn out well. But yeah, I thought that I had enough materials for anything like that, but actually no. We went out today and we went to Home Bargains and B&M and I got a few bits and pieces, not a lot, but some. And I'm going to share that with you guys right now. So the first one I have, because it's nearly Christmas, I'm just, you know, trying to make sure that in case they want to make them like a Christmas decoration kind of project in school, I got these polystyrene balls. So this is the first one. I got this from Home Bargains. Next thing I have, well, this one is not really an arts and crafts supply, but it is a stationary supply. I got these brown money envelopes for, you know, paying stuff for school. Another Christmassy supply I have these gem stickers that look like wreaths. They're pretty. So I thought I'd get it. Okay, I'm trying to see where the good lighting is because it's a bit dark. Anyway, <laughs> I just moved a little bit because it was a bit dark. It's still a bit dark now because it is dark outside but i hope this is a better lighting anyway so we were browsing through the arts and crafts areas in home bargains and we found some hello kitty items and my daughter she loves hello kitty stuff anything hello kitty so we grabbed a couple of them so there's a hello kitty coloring pencils and then there's also this hello kitty pouch it's really cute or pencil case and then we also got this um, Hello Kitty Ziploc Wallet So it's gonna be quite useful for her stuff Another thing I got from Home Bargains Are these foam sheets They're pretty good I realized I should have some of these because when we were making that house in a shoe project It would have been a lot easier to have something like this because they already come in different colors. They're sturdy so they can be used as partitions and stuff like that. Like a cardboard. Except for the cardboard you'll have to paint it or cover it with some kind of paper. Whereas this one it's already in different colors. So I got a few of these. Plus you can do so many things with this. Well this one I just decided to grab these because they're easy they you know it's easy to plan your day especially when you have children and they have different schedules and things to do during the week it's good to have these and i like this because you can just write the date yourself rather than getting the planners that are already you know set for a certain year or something this one you can just use it as you need it and you can write your own dates and stuff like that the last thing that i got from home bargains is this craft box that comes with an assortment of fun and colorful crafts so this one is about $2.99 I think and I thought that this is a good idea to have because I don't want to get too many things and I have nowhere to put them but at least this one you have a lot of different things in it that you might need and you don't have to think about whether should I get this or not. There's already different stuff in it. So I'm just going to show you what's inside. If I can open it. Go. So this is the first layer. At the top, it comes with white glue. Some glitter glue. And then it, got, it has some assorted jewels in it and an assortment of glitters also some glitter here bigger ones and some threads it also comes with googly eyes 
It also has some colored popsicle sticks and some art straws. That's the first layer. Let's look at the second layer. What's the stuff underneath this? It has some pom poms of different colors, which is pretty cool. Some of those um, wire, brush like wire thingies. Some foam sheets with cut out shapes already in it. More pom poms, colorful feathers. More of those sticks or straw type sticks. Some beads, a pair of scissors, and also it comes with a piece of fabric which always comes in handy whenever you're doing arts and crafts. So it has a lot of a few different things and I like that so I thought I'd get this box because that way I won't have to figure out whether I should buy this kind of things or that kind of things. It already comes with different things that will come in handy when you're doing arts and crafts for your kids. And it comes in this container that you can just close like that. So it's a good size container too for any of the other stuff that you want to add into it. So yeah, I got that. And then we went to B&M because I'm looking for a glue gun. I have different kinds of glue, but for some reason, I don't have a glue gun. And so when we were working on the school project, it was taking a while for the glue to dry. And that was just really annoying. So I decided, okay, after this project, I'm definitely going to get myself a glue gun. So we went to Home Bargains, but they didn't have a glue gun there for some reason. But we finally found one in B&M. So we got this glue gun. It is a cordless glue gun for 12 pounds. It already comes with batteries and some glue sticks. But I also got another pack of glue sticks just in case. So finally we have a glue gun and the last item that I got are these uh, 20 pack tissue paper of different colors and as you can see it's a pound and 29 in B&M and this always come in handy for wrapping things, arts and crafts, you can do whatever you want with it. That is it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again next time. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and share.